After months of damning headlines over expense claims, British MPs back on the front pages for all the wrong reasons again. This time taken in by a sting operation and allegedly offering to help influence government policy in exchange for cash. Journalists pretending to be from a lobbying company secretly filmed several former ministers in an upmarket part of London. Among them, the former transport minister, Stephen Byers, who, like the others, didn't know the firm was fake. I'm a bit like a sort of cab for hire, I suppose, at the moment. Just in terms of um, money, what would you, be, what would you expect um, to be involved in an advisory board? Well, I, I, at the moment, my sort of scale is between, it varies, but it's, it's usually between three and 5,000 a day. Mm. That's the sort of... Okay. Way. Those involved have denied any wrongdoing. Stephen Byers, it's claimed, retracted what he'd said. MPs must be clear, say some, not to use their position for personal gain. I've got nothing against lobbying. I used to lobby for the salt industry because I had a salt works in my constituency, so long as no money changes hands. But if you're expecting to be paid for the work you're doing as an ex-MP or as an MP, then there's only one word for that, and it is corruption. In the past few months, MPs' expenses have been scrutinised, with some accused of abusing the system. Gordon Brown is expected to set a date for the general election within the next few days, and these latest allegations will do little to improve the image of politicians and the public's opinion of them. The government has moved quickly to defuse this latest scandal, promising to tighten the rules around lobbying in the future. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera, London.